Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in this installment of our FAQ series, I'm going to show you how to take care of small nicks and scratches that you may receive while wet shaving. Wet shaving is one of those rituals that is truly uh, life-changing. You know, the moment that I started using a double-edged safety razor, a proper badger brush, and a beautiful shave cream like the Castle Forbes shave cream that we offer here at Kirby Allison Hanger Project, I have to say that my shaving experience was totally transformed. What I love about it is not only do you get a closer, more refreshing shave that lifts the beard, it's totally different than what you would get using a cartridge razor. You're able to use incredible products like Castle Forbes uh, and uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street, you know, these heritage brands that have these incredible shave soaps and creams and to really embellish that morning routine. But it's a process that really takes a little bit of skill and practice to learn and you can still actually still slightly nick yourself. Now that doesn't in any way invalidate wet shaving, if anything it validates it because uh, no man has ever enjoyed anything that a three-year-old could do just as well as an adult male could. And shaving with a multi-blade cartridge razor is one of those things that you could hand it off to your three-year-old and they would do just as well as you. Every man should have in his dop kit and at home uh, in his bathroom a styptic pencil which is uh, something that helps close the skin. So if you were to nick yourself, you would take uh, your styptic pencil, just rub it on the nick, and what this does is it causes uh, those pores to close and for the bleeding to stop. So uh, this is uh, an absolute necessity. You know, small nicks and scratches on your face you know, can take a while uh, to clot, and something like this will cause the bleeding to stop immediately. Now we also have travel uh, styptic pencils. These are little mini pocket ones that look like matches exact same thing but maybe slightly easier to travel with uh, and again this is an accessory that a man should always have with him to prevent him from having to use toilet paper you know in order to prevent any type of bleeding. Here at Kirby Allison Hanger Project we have an extensive wet shaving section with a highly curated selection of some of the best shaving products in the world. If you're someone that is still shaving with a multi-blade cartridge razor, you owe it to yourself to really discover the magic of true wet shaving with a double-edged razor, a nice badger brush, and a beautiful shave cream. In this video, I'm wearing one of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade ties. This is a Grenadine Grossa uh, Navy tie. I like the Grenadine Grossas because it has a slightly larger uh, uh, weave pattern than, say, a Grenadine Fino, which is quite fine and formal. This navy tie uh, is really a staple and something that should be in every man's wardrobe. It's incredibly easy to wear, especially whenever you're wearing something that has a lot of patterns going on. I've got a patterned uh, Zinnia uh, odd jacket, uh, a striped blue shirt, and so to have any type of tie that also had a pattern would just be too much, and so this is really something that's great to use, a nice solid tie. Uh, I'm also wearing a, a Semenuk Godard uh, woven uh, pocket square, a beautiful pocket square, love Semenuk Godard, and we have a large collection of their pocket squares here at Kirby Allison Hanger Project. Of course, this tie is tied with my signature old birdie knot. We have a video on the YouTube channel where I teach you how to tie this beautiful, slightly asymmetric, long old birdie knot. Thank you.